Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Donovan and today we're going to do a quick comparison of two really fantastic GPS smartwatches. The first one on the left is the Garmin Vivo Active 3 Music and on the right hand side I have the Amazfit Stratus. Now before we get into this actual competition between these two watches, let me just mention that both of these are really fantastic smartwatches and both of them I would recommend to friends and family without a doubt. So with that being said, let me just mention that the Amazfit Stratus is part of a giveaway on my channel right now if you're watching this before July 15th. I'm giving away five smartwatches. The grand prize is the Amazfit Stratus. And as of right now, for me, this is the king when it comes to GPS smartwatches for me personally. So the Challenger is the Garmin Vivo Active 3 Music. I've been wearing this one for about two weeks, whereas the Amazfit Stratus I've had for about three or four months now. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into this comparison. So let's start off with the price. The price is definitely a pretty major difference between these two. So the Garmin Vivo Active 3 Music is available right now retail for $300. I picked mine up at Best Buy. I paid full retail price, $300 and uh, that is also available right now on Amazon. So when I originally got mine, it was not available on Amazon. It is now, um, so definitely check that out in the links down below as well. The Garm, or sorry, the Amazfit Stratus is available right now for $200. That's the retail price. However, if you pick it up directly from Amazfit, and uh, you use the coupon code smartphone guy, you can get 20% off and uh, you'll get it for $160. So in terms of price, there is really no comparison here. Obviously the better, quote unquote value or deal of the two is the Amazfit Stratus at $160 versus $300 for the Garmin Vivo Active 3 Music. All right, so now that we got the price out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about the build quality of these two watches. So right away, one of the things I wanna mention with these two is that the Amazfit Stratus is definitely the larger of the two watches. You can kind of tell just by looking at them right here. So this one has just a single button, whereas the Amazfit Stratus has three buttons. Um, in terms of the displays, uh, the Amazfit Stratus has a slightly larger display and uh, this one, in actually both of these are very visible even in the brightest of lights. So right now I'm pointing them directly at my studio lights and uh, you can tell that uh, the brighter the light, actually the easier they are to see and that is awesome. I personally feel like every smartwatch that's designed for a runner or biker or swimmer should have that technology built into it. Both of these have it. That's awesome. I really love that about both these watches. So next thing I want to talk about is the back of these watches and that's the straps. So notice that they both have quick release straps. So if you want to put on some nicer looking straps, um, you can do that. No problem whatsoever. So both are quick release. The Garmin Vivo Active 3 Music has 20 millimeter bands, whereas the Amazfit Stratus has 22 millimeter bands. In terms of the actual look of the two, I will say that I personally prefer the uh, look of, let's get back into, all right, let's get back into it. There we go, okay. So I personally prefer the look of the Amazfit Stratus. However, I prefer the fit and feel of the Vivo Active 3 Music personally for running. Now, if I'm going out for business purposes or something like that, I think the Vivo Active, sorry, the Amazfit Stratus probably looks a little bit more classy. And again, you can replace these bands. Whereas the Vivo Active 3 Music has a more sporty look to it. And there's really no getting around that with this one. Now, if you get the re regular Vivo Active 3, there is a stainless steel version that looks a little bit more classy like the Amazfit Stratus, but for the music version of the watch, right now that's not available. All right, so now let's go ahead and talk about the tracking ability of these two watches. So let me just mention here that both of them will track steps. Both of them have GPS built in. They also have heart rate monitors, as you can see right here. They'll both probably go off right now. So you can see both heart rate monitors are working at the moment. So they both track your heart rate all day long, not just when you're doing a workout. So that's great. They will basically give you your calorie count, uh, how many calories you've burned throughout the day and things like that. So for that, I think that they are both really, really good. So let me just mention here that in terms of GPS tracking, both of these are very, very reliable, very consistent GPS, no issues at all 
they're both basically dead on to the hundredth of a mile. Um, perfect GPS smartwatches in terms of that. I've not had any issues with them losing GPS tracking whatsoever. Now, in terms of the heart rate, I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over. The Garmin Vivo Active 3 Music, I've literally not had a single issue with the heart rate monitoring on this one. Uh, it's never dropped out during a run. It seems very, very accurate to what my heart rate is during a workout. Um, so really no issues whatsoever with that one. The Amazfit Stratus, I've had just a couple of times where this, you know, again, this is over three months of usage, um, maybe once or twice in that entire three months where it dropped my heart rate for just a split second and came right back. Um, so that one I'm gonna say is like 99 to 98% reliable. Whereas so far the Garmin Vivo Active 3 Music has been 100% reliable. So still very, very reliable. And uh, one I would definitely recommend for heart rate monitoring, also very accurate as well. Um, so no issues there. Now, in terms of sleep tracking, they both will track your sleep. Again, they both track your calories, both do that very, very well. The only area that I will say the Amazfit Stratus has been unreliable when it comes to tracking is with altitude. For some reason or another, when it's tracking my runs, it always gives me kind of messed up altitude readings, and I'm not exactly sure why, um, but that is really the only area that that one has been kind of messed up. Both of them will download, so this one downloads directly to Garmin, this one direct, uh, downloads directly to Amazfit. However, both of them can download to um, Strava, which is what I personally use. So I have them both going directly to Strava. So all of my activities will go, um, whether I'm wearing the Garmin or the Amazfit. So I like that about both of them as well. All right, so the next thing I wanna compare is the battery life of these two watches. And for that, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the box here. So notice that the Amazfit Stratus says up to five days of battery life. Whereas when you look at the box on the Garmin, it says seven days of battery life in watch mode, five hours with GPS and music mode. So let me just mention that if you're using GPS, and if you're using the Bluetooth for music, you're gonna get significantly shorter battery life, and that is especially if you're using Bluetooth music. So with Bluetooth music, um, you're looking at about five hours of total GPS and Bluetooth uh, usage with both of these watches. Now, when it comes to just using the watch, let's say you don't run at all with them, you don't use the GPS at all, then yeah, five days and seven days is probably about accurate. But in terms of my actual usage, because I'm using GPS, because I'm using Bluetooth music, uh, with the Amazfit Stratus, I get about two full days of battery life, then I need to recharge it. Um, and this one does not have fast charging technology. It takes about two hours to charge this up. Whereas with the Garmin, I'm getting closer to like two and a half, even maybe three days if I push it. And that is with using GPS and Bluetooth music. And uh, this one does have slightly faster charging. You can get a full charge on this one in about one hour. So it takes a little bit longer to charge it. Doesn't have quite as good a battery life, but still both have very, very good battery life in my opinion. All right, so the next area I want to talk about is the music capabilities of these two watches, because for me personally, that is really important. Uh, so let me just mention here that uh, I appreciate this about both of these watches, the fact that you can literally just hook them up to your computer, drag and drop some music over, and boom, you got your music on your watches. So I like that it's not a complicated system like with Fitbit. Fitbit has a really annoying uh, way to download music. So I really like it that you can just drag and drop your music over to these two watches. Now with that being said, there are a couple of extra tricks up Garmin sleeves. So they do have the ability to download iHeart Music Playlist. Um, and there is one other service that's supposed to be coming, Deezer Music, um, but as of right now, that's not available. Um, with the Amazfit, basically you can just drag and drop music and that's pretty much it. Um, but with that being said, when it comes to connecting up headphones, I have found that the Amazfit Stratus definitely has a much better Bluetooth connection. So I have to be very specific with which headphones I use with the Vivo Active 3 Music. And uh, I talked about that in my initial review. Basically, because I wear my watch on my left wrist, I had to find a pair of headphones that have specific left earbud being the main earbud. So these ones from Syllable, the Syllable D15s, I believe is what these are called, um, work very well with both of these watches. But with my Amazfit Stratus, I found that I can pretty much use any Bluetooth headphones where I had to be very selective with the Vivo 3 Music, Vivo Active 3 Music, because of the fact that the Bluetooth connection isn't quite as good as what I get with the Amazfit Stratus. 
All right, so the last thing I want to compare between these two watches is the software that you're going to use with them uh, when you're pairing them up to your phone. So Amazfit Stratus is going to use one called the Amazfit Watch. Now both of these work with both Android and iOS. So I'm going to go ahead and go into the Amazfit app. So you can see here it's going to show you your steps, your current battery percentage, your heart rate, and your sleep. Now notice that none of these are really up to date because I'm not actually using the Amazfit Stratus right now. I'm using the Vivo Active 3 Music. And uh, then if I come up here into the Amazfit Stratus, I click on that and I have some things I can adjust here so I can adjust some app settings, including under File Manager, I can add some music, I can adjust my weather, things like that. We can also adjust the widgets. Now these are all of the apps it comes with, so a little bit limited. As you can see here, um, there are no additional apps that you can add on to it. So obviously, if you want additional apps, you're going to need to get the Garmin. Um, and then I can maybe adjust some widgets, turn them on and off there. I can move them around. And then if I come down here to more, basically, you can see I can just do some ROM updates. And that's about it here. Now, when I go back, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you an activity track. So this is my activity tracker. So I'm going to go ahead and go into just one specific activity. And you can see the details. So it's going to show your heart rate, your calories burned, things like that. Uh, if I go up here into trips, it's going to show you your miles. And then if I go up here into graph, it's going to show you your pace, your speed, your heart rate. So see that the heart rate is real good. Um, altitude. Now, again, this was basically a flat run. Uh, I was wa basically running on a totally flat trail. Notice that it goes up and down. So that's, again, the area where I really think that this one has some work to do. I'm not really sure if that can be fixed with a software update, but that is the only area where I've found issues with this watch is with the altitude. So that is the Amazfit Stratus app. So now let's go ahead and go into Garmin. So this is Garmin Connect. And you can see that right up here, it's a little bit more colorful. Um, and then it shows you your heart rate, your steps, your intensity minutes for the week, your floors, your stress, calories, your weight, your sleep. Um, and then all this is very accurate. This is a workout I did yesterday, so we'll go ahead and go into that. And you can see it, you have details here, so it's going to break down all of your details of your run. Um, so it does all of that very, very well. The area where this one is a little bit more advanced over the Amazfit Stratus is the fact that you have also Garmin Golf. Um, you can connect up with some other people. So that's right here, the connections and groups. Now, one thing you'll notice is missing here is the IQ Hub. So that's where you can download other apps. It's pretty limited as to what you can get in terms of the additional apps, but that's missing here because uh, actually the phone I'm using right now to record this is what is connected up to the Vivo Active 3 Music. So it's not going to show that because uh, this watch is not currently connected to uh, this phone. But in terms of software, definitely without a doubt, uh, the Vivo Active 3 Music has more advanced software. Not that the Amazfit Stratus has bad software, um, it's just a little bit more limited in terms of the apps you can get with it. I will also mention that this one does have NFC available now, so Garmin Pay is available when I initially reviewed it. Garmin Pay was not available for this watch. It is now, and uh, it's limited as to what you can do with it, um, but it is at least available, whereas in the Amazfit Stratus, that is not an option at the moment. So in the end, which of these two watches is the better buy for you? Well, personally for me, if, if money were not a factor whatsoever, if I didn't have to compare the prices, then I would say overall, I definitely prefer the Garmin Vivo Active 3 Music, mostly because of the sleeker feel. Obviously, the tracking is dead on in every single way. Uh, the area that I really I'm still a little bit bothered with this watch is the Bluetooth connection, but now that I've found some good uh, earbuds to wear with it, I don't really have an issue with that. Uh, just a little frustrating that it doesn't work with all my Bluetooth earbuds. Um, but if money is a factor for you, which for a lot of people it is, I definitely think the Amazfit Stratus will not let you down. There are just a couple of things I mentioned um, that maybe could be an issue, like the altitude. Hopefully they can get that fixed with some software updates, which they've been very good about updating this watch over time. And then the other thing is it's a little bit more limited in terms of its functionality, in terms of the apps and things like that. But overall, this has been a fantastic smartwatch, one that I still would recommend to anyone looking for a budget-friendly GPS smartwatch that's very, very accurate in almost every way. So anyways, quick look. Hopefully this comparison has been helpful for you. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.